Hey guys, and welcome to a new video on Byte Geek. Today, I'm going to be asking the question, are QLC drives really that bad? So let's get into it. So just before we dive into the details of this video, guys, just a reminder, um, my 500 subscriber worldwide giveaway is, uh, is still running. There's still plenty of time left to enter. And uh, if you do, you stand a chance of winning a Pioneer 240 gigabyte uh, portable SSD drive. So link in the description and um, yeah, good luck. Okay guys, so I recently got a comment on one of the videos that I uh, have done. I've done a, a handful of videos really looking at um, uh, QVO and EVO uh, drives from Samsung and you know which drives are, are better for gaming and things like that. And um, somebody commented on one of the videos that uh, QLC based drives, so the, in, this, in this instance it was the QVO drive, uh, is absolutely cr and uh, not to use it. And they were basing that upon their experience of the drive, um, which basically was that um, you know, it took them six hours to install some games on the drive. Now, uh, that obviously that's not my experience of it, and hopefully in the videos that I did, I was able to demonstrate um, the difference in those drives compared to, uh, say, you know, the EVO drives and the NVMe drives as well. And um, you know, I think you know, hopefully the videos did kind of highlight the fact that you know these drives are excellent. Uh, equivalents uh, for reading uh, but not so great for for writing um, and you know you you need to understand how you can best use these drives in fact you know there's a little um, screenshot here from uh, Synology's website and th they say the same kind of thing you know it's um, you know these drives are uh, very very similar in performance um, to um, you know, TLC based drives uh, and certainly from a cost benefit you know there is something to be had there however you know the article does go on to uh, say that you know in terms of write performance though they they are not as good and you know that was something that i did actually highlight uh, on my videos and um but it, it kind of got me thinking you know did i did i look at this the right way um you know i did some kind of like general tasks that people would actually uh, use these drives for as well as you know doing the the game uh, comparison and obviously you know in this particular comment you know it was the whole downloading a game as 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 well and and it being installed on the drive so i thought well what i'll do is i'll i'll do a video on that and that's what this is about um you know what i've done is i've um got a, an install of uh, warzone so it's uh something like 85 gigabytes it's probably one of the you know um, most popular games that everybody's downloading over the, over the last few months or whatever and it is you know something at that size you know it is susceptible to um, the the overall performance of your um, broadband provider so um, certainly for those who are in the UK just for reference you know I use a Virgin Media uh, service and that's 600 uh, meg so quite a good connection uh, it is fairly stable I do get um, pretty close to that and um, what I'm going to show you now is um, uh, a clip of the actual download process of this being uh, downloaded and installed onto a Samsung QVO drive, a Samsung EVO drive, and a uh, Sabrent Rocket uh, Gen 4 NVMe drive. And um, you'll get to see the overall uh, performance uh, chart at the end. And um, yeah, let's, let's roll that bit of footage.
So obviously in order to help with the, uh, the possibility of uh, the fluctuation in downloads, what I actually did, I repeated this process three times. Um, so I'm not going to run this, this footage three times in the video. But what you've got on these charts that, that are coming up now, you can actually see the average time uh, to, um, to download and install uh, the game uh, on the machine. And I think you know, what that, that highlights is, is very, very similar results to the previous videos that I've done where you know, the NVMe drive uh, basically um, you know, beats the EVO drive, as you would expect, you know, SATA technology versus NVMe technology. And, um, but also that the QVO drive is actually uh, a little bit slower. Um, I think you know, the overall install process, it's about two minutes slower which you know, for, for what is effectively um, a 16 to 20 minute process you know, is not a massive amount um, in my opinion. Um, but obviously, you know, I think you know, what, what people suggest that you use these drives for is in terms of storage and things like games and stuff like that. And a lot of people have asked me questions on, on these drives. Should they go for one of these in uh, say a PlayStation or something like that? And um, you know, the, the cost difference on them uh, you know, is it can be quite substantial depending upon what size you go for. But actually, because these drives are more beneficial on a, on a read basis, uh, they do actually work out the better drive. And what I've just got now is a, is a very small, small clip of the, um, the loading up of that game. What you can see here is, as you'd expect, the NVMe drive is a little bit quicker, then it's the EVO drive, and then I think it's just kind of like a second later, you've got the QVO drive. So, you know, I think, you know, when you, when you look at gaming as a, as a whole, um, or, or any other type of thing, you know, if you're, you're storing large quantities of data and it's something that you're not constantly uninstalling and installing new stuff, then these are fantastic drives, um, and certainly the cost side of it you know the, the for the capacity of them they make great replacements for um standard hard drives um you know for for gamers you know certainly if you've got a console you know i've got a console as well and you tend to hoard games on the console unless you've got a, a small drive on a console at which point you'll you'll be uninstalling all the time but you tend to hoard the games uh, and build up that collection so you know it is going to be the read performance that's important for you on this so hopefully you get something from these guys. You know, the, yes, they're not great drives to write to. They're not the end of the world. They are slower than um, you know, like a Samsung EVO drive, um, but they're not you know something that basically takes six hours to install some games on. I'm not quite sure um, what this viewer's overall setup was. Um, you know, they, they I think they had 400 megabits. Uh, broadband so you know there's plenty of factors that could be affecting this it could be fluctuations in the download speed it could have actually been a faulty drive in some way it could be something else in the system uh, that is their experience of it this is my experience of it um, you know but uh, obviously I've done you know multiple videos on this now and it's all coming out the same kind of results on this where you know they are slower in the right performance and fast as fast on the re-performance and that as i say is what is um documented elsewhere by the likes of uh, of synology and other websites as well so hopefully you found that video useful guys you know have you got one of these uh, you know a qlc based drives you know a samsung qvo or something like that you know what's your experience of them um let me know down below in the comments um, but you know if you've enjoyed the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already um, and uh, you know as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye for now